hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is mary and this is the Miriam Motor Show Show. If this is your first time on this channel, you're welcome. On this channel, we talk faith, lifestyle, relationships, and everything that has to do with everyday living. On the channel today, I'm going to be um, talking about my natural hair growth. And I'll be sharing with you guys some magic ingredients, some magic things that you need to grow your hair, your natural hair. Now, I've been on my natural hair for um i think 20 from 2017 yeah 2017 up until 2021 no 2018 sorry because it was for four years 2018 up until 2021 when i cut my hair again and i, I just started the hair last year 2022 um february yes so i'm going to be showing you guys my um stash my hair growth stash um but first before we go into that um so you guys see the hair length that was last year um and then sometime again in september i took a picture comparing my hair growth and trying to see how much hair i have grown and well my hair is made now if not i would have shown you guys how long it was but anyway um let's go on into this video so the first thing i want to say is that if you're looking to grow your hair please no pressure put no pressure on yourself at all um it took me quite some time to understand that hair growth is majorly due to genes so if your genes do not have or support fast hair growth or long hair growth the possibility that you would have long hair is very slim well except you do a hair transplant right because your hair doesn't just attach to your head it grows from like inside right yeah so genes are very important also diet what you eat matters um matters not only for your body or for your weight it matters for your skin and it matters for your hair so you want to eat really good food food that um is rich and that will help to grow your hair that will help to give enough vitamins and minerals for your hair growth um so that being established i'm going to go on to show you guys what i use for my hair and how i use it um luckily i have good hair genes i mean um Think that god has blessed us in our house with hair if you guys can even see my body you see like i have some hair on my body so and there are some people that are just like really clean clean so hair growth has to do a lot with genes so very quickly let me show you guys what i use on my hair they're quite a number and i'm not going to say oh you guys rushing to buy it and all of that mm -mm. buy it as you need it know what works for you in my first natural hair journey oh my god i was a junkie i was a product junkie um this one will go away i'm going to bite and this one will moisturize yeah brrr, i've gone to bite and i kept doing that and at some point i had so many products that they were getting expired i wasn't using them and i was wasting funds and the hair wasn't just growing as much as i wanted it to so i just decided i wasn't going to be a product junkie whenever i had the opportunity of starting the journey before so let's dive right in now the very first thing you need um for your natural hair is um hair butter so this is the hair butter that i use yeah as i am it's a double butter cream and is really lovely oh my god this butter is amazing the butter is amazing so you guys can see um how good the butter is right um it's so good that I've, i'm almost done with it um so this is like a moisturizer and i use it on my hair now the next thing you want to have is hair growth oils so yes magic ingredients i use three hair growth oils and i'll tell you how i use them so i use the um degrow mega thick formula oil yeah this is it this is what it looks like this is what it looks like yeah when i was in nigeria i usually get my products from beam Fem. so this is the do grow hair, hair um hair oil then i use this wild growth hair oil oh my god this hair oil is amazing is amazing yes so there's the yellow one that one is lighter this one is thicker this oil is thicker then the last um 
hair growth oil that I would say is a magic oil is this um, it's a JBC or Jam Jamaican black castor oil extra dark can you guys see please ignore the price tag I just restocked my stash so this is it now I mix these oils into a bottle and yeah so by the time I put it in a bottle I put it in a bottle something like this and this is what it usually is now can you guys see what is below you're probably wondering maybe what is this and all of that and all of that now that's the next magic ingredient that i use for my hair so i'm going to be showing you two and it's called ayurvedic herbs so we have quite a number of ayurvedic herbs but well i could only have access to two as at the time i was going to travel out of nigeria so this is brahmi powder i got it from aphrodisius she's not into the business again but you can get it from any good ayurvedic herb vendor so this is brahmi this is what it looks like and then the second ayurvedic herb i use is the habis hibiscus powder still from aphrodisius right can you guys see it yeah so this is it and this is what it looks like so now it's mix both powders together and then add them with my oil and keep them in a dark room for them to get infused so i want the oil to be infused with the ayurvedic herbs and a lot of research has shown that ayurvedic herbs are good so this is what this is what it looks like and then i just put it in a dark part in my room so that it's infused and it can be here for as much as six months yes because i do a lot and do it in batches so that the hair oil is actually very very strong ignore the packaging yeah so this is it i just made use of available bottles around me yeah i think i have another bottle yep this is another bottle so like i said this is it so um the herbs would usually settle down so when i want to use it i just mix it very well yep so this is another bottle that i kept away so now done with hair growth oils um you can get a bottle like this to mix it yeah i just got this because i want to be professional like they said i want to be professional so you can just mix it in something like this and store the next thing you want to get is a shampoo and a conditioner so i use this tresem um shampoo anything that has biotin men I want to grab it so this has biotin biotin is very good for the hair so this has biotin so you want to get a good shampoo and a conditioner right so you can see this and you can see this right yep so you want to get good shampoo and good conditioner now as a practice i wash my hair twice in a month so once every two weeks i put my hair in protective style and i'm just going to quickly give you guys a show of what my protective style is my protective style is usually on for two weeks so can you guys see my protective style yep that is it and this is how long my hair has grown in the last roughly one year because i started around i think february or march this is how long my hair has grown can you guys see yeah so let me just put my wig on um so you want to use a lot of protective styling it's very important um twist cornrows um just putting it in protective styling i don't do so much of um ghana weaving and all of that i don't use so much of attachment to my hair because i am trying to keep my hair um less busy as possible i'm trying to make sure that i don't manipulate the hair too much and you know with braids oh you're tempted to want to style you're tempted to want to do a number of things on the hair so forgive me guys i'm trying to just set this wig back so that i don't look like somebody that is coming for me lots <laughs> okay give me a moment guys i'm trying to just set it up set it up set it up yeah I think that's all done yeah so i put my hair in protective styling i just showed you guys so you see how the hair is right um how i put my hair in protective styling and if you know me you know that me and curls were like <laughs> inseparable so i do that to make sure that my hair is well taken care of and it's easier for me to be able to apply the hair oils so if you notice most of the bottles i use have this tip so i just apply it on the lines yeah Apply it on the lines so um moving very quickly i'm going to also show you guys um 
a living conditioner that I use. Now, I use this living conditioner and I love it so much. Mega Growth Living Conditioner. Oh my God. It softens my hair and it keeps it moisturized. So, um, another thing I do is I use a hair mask. So, you could do deep protein or hair mask. I just started using this hair mask. Um, the Shea Moisture um, hair mask. People have given me good reviews. I hope that when I start using it, I would love it. I just got it. Um, but before that, I used the Honey and Sage, Alikeri Naturals. Oh my God, this is amazing. Um, unfortunately now, I have mixed it with some Ayurvedic herbs because when I'm doing my deep protein or um, when I'm trying to deep condition my hair, I try to mix some Ayurvedic herbs. So originally the color is I think cream, but because I've mixed the herbs, you guys can see it. So I use this and apply it on my hair after washing. So when I know I'm going to do a deep condition, I do not use my conditioner. So I just shampoo, wash the hair, make sure that it's clean. And then I go on to apply my deep conditioner. And like I said to you guys, I wash my hair twice in a month. So for the first time I wash my hair, I'm not going to deep condition. But for the second time I wash my hair in a month, I deep condition. So once I've washed the hair, it's clean and I've applied this. I go on to apply some heat so that my hair follicles can be open and they can absorb the nutrients in what um, I have applied. Now this is like a heat cap, heat protecting um, cap. So I wear this on my hair. You can get this. I'm going to put a link of how you can reach Bean Firm Naturals. I use a lot of our products and they are affordable. And Bean Firm is almost always doing sales. So be sure to get the product at a very, very ridiculously cheap price. So once I've used this and I've worn it on my hair, the next thing I go in with is this heat cap. And I've had this for, I think, three years. I must have gotten it from Bean Firm also because, man, I'm a Bean Firm addict, right? <laughs> so... Yeah, this is it. Um, just plug it, and it has um, so it has. You can set it right. So I think there's the high, and then there's the low. So you can set it. Um, I usually stay in the cup for about thirty minutes so that my hair can absorb the nutrients, and gradually you see that it begins to trickle down your neck, like, and you you feel the warmth on your hair. So yeah, um, basically that. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys something I recently started. I've not been able to really review it, and that's the male rosemary, rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil. People have sworn by this oil. Yeah, that is good. Rosemary is good. I know rosemary is good for the hair. It helps with hair, hair growth and stimulating um, your hair follicles and all of that. So I just got this, and I will be trying it out. In fact, I've started using a bit, and it's, it's really nice. The thing about this hair oil is that absorbs quickly into my hair so can you guys see it yeah so um now i want to tell you naturalistas please don't rush to get so many products at the same time i don't get all my products at the same time even though <coughs> it will choke so i get it one after the other so um the only thing i'm missing out of course i have my spray bottle when my hair needs some moisture i just spray 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 so this is water and a bit of conditioner um, I use this one for my wigs, but for my natural hair, I just use ordinary water. Um, so guys, basically that is it. If you're looking to grow your natural hair in 2023, you don't want to manipulate it a lot. Use basic products. All the products that I've shown you guys can be divided into five basic steps. First, washing and conditioning your hair. Second, moisturizing your hair. Third, you want to deep condition your hair. That's maybe probably once in a month. Some people do it twice in a month. That's fine. Next is that you want to keep your hair um, really fed. That's with the growth oil. And then the last thing I would say is that you want to keep your hair tidy. So put it in protective styling. Um, avoid manipulation as much as you can. Sleep in a satin bonnet. Um, I think for me, it helps me to retain the hair moisture, hair oil, and then my hair is not just all over the place. So, five things basically. You don't need to get a lot of products. Trust me. 
the first time being a naturalist, I bought this, I bought that, I bought this, I bought that. But now, I don't even stress myself. So I don't know if you guys have questions. Please let me know in the comment section and I would answer your questions. Thank you so much again, guys. Let's see where this hair goes to by the end of 2023. Um, I think as around the one thing I should say is that I've also not been a very big fan of long hair because my hair is full and a bit thick. So handling even this length of hair is Herculean task. So I'm not so much for all, I want my hair to be long. I know that my hair is healthy. It's not breaking. That's perfect for me. I'm just going to inf um, infuse a picture of my last wash day and the hair that I shed. It was so minimal. And for me, that's the sign of a healthy hair. So basic thing. I don't be so interested in having a ah, woman to be long and full. We're not like the Asians that have the gene for long hair. As long as your hair is healthy. Yes, some people who are Africans, um, have the kinky hair and all of that, are able to have long hair. But invariably, what I'm saying is that go for a healthy hair. Healthy hair over long hair. Healthy hair over long hair anytime, any day. Okay, guys. I do not want to make this long. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye.